Sunday morning doing everything that I should do and doing my good deed today I did all the dishes this sink was had quite a few because the wife the wife was kind of under the weather as she puts it and since it's Sunday I made her a wonderful breakfast Look at this, even with the love glasses. I love her. I wasn't under the feathers, the dogs were. Right. So right. You're right, honey. You're always right. I'm wrong. I'm going to go eat my breakfast. We're making. Um. Lemon meringue pie today! Woo! <laughs> so, we're gonna get busy in the kitchen after breakfast. After my prayers, too. And my thank, uh, what I'm thankful for. Always start your day with ta saying what you're thankful for every single day. And get up and try and be thankful. Okay, guys, we have lots of Sunday cooking to do today. <laughs> I got my cardinals on. Yes, I do. Get the stuff I need. And if you ever see this, you guys, you go in your pantry and you see this empty. Like, is the garbage right here too far to walk to throw it away? I'm not sure quite. I never really understand this. Do you guys? <laughs> Let me get the stuff to make the pie crust and I'll leave the link below for my pie crust. I'm drinking on the job. <laughs> just orange juice. I promise you guys it's just orange juice. Do you like my fancy cups? I got these last year I think at the Dollarama. Yeah they're cute eh? Cheers. Got a little bit of vodka in there. Bruce has a surprise for you. Yeah. We're not going to show you. It's going to be It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> so I got the chicken cooked for the pot pie. Another thing done. Now I'm going to go mix that pie dough. Pretty sure that's all cooked. Okay. There we go. There's our nice ball of dough. Now make sure you don't over mix it too much. Just enough to get, get it all mixed together. You don't want to over mix your dough. Then it'll be tough. Okay? Okay, let's get this in the fridge. We'll see you in an hour, baby. There we go. Okay, so I'm using three chicken breasts. I'm gonna cut them. I like to cut mine. I like to cut my chicken for recipes in pieces, not shredded. I find it's a lot better. That's just me, though. I don't like shredded 
it finds I feel like it it kind of disappears so I'm going to cut these three chicken breasts into small bites okay you guys so I cut out two onions three carrots I had some salary uh, I kept the uh, the leafy part because I that's always you always use that for taste don't ever throw that leafy part away or the ends that you cut off you could always use that in making your broth or whatever I keep all that so this is some of the leafy part of the salary I have uh, peas and carrots just the whole I don't know probably a cup of each a little more three chicken breasts one and a half sticks of butter or for us Canadians that can't buy sticks of butter we could but who wants to pay six seven dollars for a pound of butter <laughs> I'd say um half a cup of butter and one quarter cup of butter is in there we're gonna put our veggies in not the corn in the peas we put our veggies in and we're gonna get those sauteing down a bit okay so I put all my spices on there in dry parsley and I'm just gonna saute these veggies down so I'll be back once they're sauteed down probably 10 minutes or so so I'll just saute them down nicely okay so now I'm going to add some chicken balloon. I've also got some of this in the microwave in water because I don't have any box of broth left. But I just want to add some balloon to this too. And then I'm going to add uh, a little more. I'm going to add three quarter cups of flour into here. Okay, and we're going to cook this flour down for about three minutes. I want to cut the flour out. Oh, I'm eventually going to need to go to Costco soon. Yeah, so let me cook this down for about three minutes. To, to cook, you want to cook the rawness out of the flour, okay? Okay. And then, while I'm doing that, I'm drinking my diet, or not diet, my orange, my grape crush Bruce bought me last week. I still have it. <laughs> You're going to drink that? Yeah, I still have it. I can share it, hon. Would you like some? I'm just teasing you. I got my orange pants in it. Okay. Thanks, honey. Okay, so we're going to add the corn and the peas now. and also the chicken chicken going in want a piece Bruce before it goes in got a piece you're working hard not that's not a piece that's a handful you know that you need to learn the difference that's corn for the chickens and the ducks <laughs> You were caught red-handed. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add our five cups of chicken broth. What are you making? I'm making Pot chicken pies? pot pies, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to simmer this for a couple minutes just to bring it to a boil. While I'm doing, while that's doing that, I'm going to clean this out. Get all that goodness in there. Yes. Okay, so it's starting to boil. I'm going to add a half a cup of milk, but you use cream if you have it on hand. I don't have any cream on hand. So if you don't, you can also use milk. Just a half a cup I'm going to add to that. I get my 
measure them up. Cream is always better, but if you don't have cream, milk is next best. Okay, just simmer it for a couple minutes and shut it off and let it sit while we're going to have our lunch, which is leftover chicken and french fries from last night. Okay? You'll see it thickening up. Okay, we're going to go have some chicken and uh, I'm going to have gravy with my fries. Bruce is not a gravy fan. Here comes the girls, looking for treats. Hey girls, where's everybody else? There's the Ellie Mae. You look like you need a bath. Jetro, you too. Here, where's Marcia? Where's Marcia? Marcia, come on. Oh, we almost dropped you guys. This must be laying an egg. Okay, guys, we have, um, it's so nice and thick. And we're going to do two of these. These will be dinner. And then the leftover, we're going to make, ooh, that's a little blurry. Frozen ones. Okay? So let's see how much I can get out of here. And we'll have frozen pot pies in the freezer. Along with lasagna that I made a few days ago. It's going to be perfect. Let me go fill this up and see how much I get. Okay, so I got two for dinner. Then I got uh, two, four, six, eight for the freezer. Perfect. Yeah, I've got my crust here. I'm going to roll out. And uh, we're going to... Uh, get it on top of all the pot pies. We're going to want to cook them too before we freeze them. So all we're going to do is roll this out and cut off the tops. I only like the tops of my pot pie to have crust. It, if you do the whole bottom and all that, sometimes it's too much. So if you just do a nice crust on top, it's a lot better see how thick I want these crusts. I don't want them too thick and I don't want them too thin. I'll just take a, an empty pot pie and uh, do that. And cut it out and then put it on top. I'm going to go do all these and I will be back. Okay, these ones for dinner, I want them to look rustic. So I'm just going to leave them be, but I'm going to put an egg wash over. These ones here, I want to put a little bit of thumbprint on the side just to make them look like store-bought but homemade. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that and we'll get an egg and we'll brush egg and we'll put a little water in the egg and we'll brush that on top okay so i got the egg wash on now i'm just po poking um slots in so that it has little air vents in them and that way they'll breathe okay i'm gonna get these in the oven cooking as soon as well bruce is working on electrical so I don't know if I can use the oven yet <laughs> so as soon as he's done I'm gonna get these in the oven and cook them all and then we'll cool these off and we'll freeze them I'll show you when they come out of the oven look you guys pure heaven <laughs> isn't it oh I'm telling you guys if you try this it's so easy you seen how easy it was yes Okay, we're going to let these cool off and we're going to put them in the freezer to freeze and then we'll wrap them after we freeze them. Yeah. 
Okay, you guys, I made the crust for the uh, lemon ring pie. I like to use graham wafer crust, so I make my own uh, graham cracker crust. And then I cook it in the oven. So it's done. It just come out of the oven. Now I'm going to make the inside of the uh, pie. Lemon ring pie. So in a saucepan, you're going to need one and a half cups of sugar. Six tablespoons of cornstarch. That's two. Four. Six. Okay. Then you're going to need a pinch of salt. Okay, we're going to put that aside. Okay, so you're going to stir up your mixture here. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of water. Put your heat on. We're going to bring this to a simmer. Bring it to a boil. And then once it boils, we are going to simmer it for two minutes. Okay. So once it gets boiling, I'm going to time it for two minutes. What? Okay, after two minutes, you're going to remove it from the heat. What? You're going to get out some dinner? Yeah, I'll heat up your food from yesterday. And you're going to put one cup of this in, okay. into a measuring cup. Okay. And then what you want to do is add this to uh, three egg yolks. Now make sure you keep the, uh, keep the, uh, what do you call it, the... Turn it on. The white yolks. The white. Okay, hang on. Let me do this. I can't talk. Ooh, you gone blurry. Come on, come back. Okay, I gotta. Okay, yeah. You're gonna add this mixture to your egg yolks. You want three egg yolks. And you're going to keep the white part for the meringue. I can't think of the name. Egg yolk. What's the white? What's the other part of the egg? Yeah, that's the, yolk. the yolk. This is the yolk. What's the other part? The white. The white. No, it's what is it called? The white. Okay, the white. Yeah. I thought it just didn't sound right. <laughs> okay. Then, okay, that's how you don't get scrambled eggs by doing that. You could take a cup of your, of your mix here, and then you put it into your three egg yolks. Okay. Okay, yeah. You're going to add this mixture to your egg yolks. You want three egg yolks. And you're going to keep the white part for the meringue. I, I can't think of the name. Egg yolk. What's the white? What's the other part of the egg? Yeah, that's the, yolk. the yolk. This is the yolk. What's the other part? The white. The white. No, it's what is it called? The white. <laughs> okay, the white. Yeah. I thought it just didn't sound right. <laughs> okay. Then, okay, that's how you don't get scrambled eggs by doing that. You could take a cup of your, of your mix here, and then you put it into your three egg yolks. Okay. Okay, let's get it back in the pan and mix it all up. We're going to bring it to a boil for two minutes. Okay. 
You're going to add two tablespoons of butter. One third cup of lemon juice. And two teaspoons of lemon zest. Just mix that up. Remove from heat, stir butter, juice, and peel. Pour hot filling into pastry shell. We're going to get this all mixed up first. Lemon, lemon, lemon is the best. Forget, forget, forget the rest. <laughs> okay, let's get this in there. I'm going to go scrape the rest out. Okay, we have our egg whites in there. Three egg whites from the eggs we used. We're going to put a quarter teaspoon of uh, cream of tartar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to use six tablespoons of sugar that we're going to add gradually. We can do two at a time. But let's get this going. And we'll add two, teas two tablespoons of sugar at a time. You want six tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Okay, we're going to put our meringue on top. I have a mess here, guys. <laughs> That's okay, though. No. You wouldn't be good if it wasn't, if you weren't making the mess. Right? Yes. Okay. Let me go put this meringue on, and I'll be back. Look at that, you guys. You got to make sure you seal your ends so you don't see any of the the yellow. Because otherwise your pie will be watery. So just make sure you seal the edges. I'm going to go finish this off. We're going to get it in the oven. What is the oven? Um, bake 15 minutes at 350. We'll bake it until we, my ba my oven bakes fast, so I'm going to be checking on it every, well, I'm going to go 10 at first. Well, I go, finally got her light up. That we bought quite a while ago. She was going to throw it out, and I said, oh, I'm, you're not throwing that out. We got it out of a farm, eh? Yard sale. Yard sale. Like, it's a really good one. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen buckuses. I know they didn't pay no fifteen dollars when they bought it. I don't know if you can see the shades. Because on this video, it's looking like they're glowing like crazy. <laughs> but anyways, I did that today. Hope you like it. Yeah, I just want to say Nate helped me today too, eh? Because I had uh, a problem with a light switch, so he, uh, I needed him to do some climbing in my garage to get my light switches. And uh, he actually learned something today too, how to uh, wire in a ceiling light. And we ran into a little bit of problems, but I figured it out. And uh, 
Just wanted to show you. Hope you like it. Okay guys, we have homemade pot pie with a little bit of coleslaw and I made the dressing. It's delicious. It's, uh, I want, I like a sweet dressing and it went perfect. And there's my lemon meringue pie. Ooh, <laughs> okay guys, are you ready to try this homemade pot pie? I am. I am. I've been smelling it all day. <laughs> yes. I worked for it. You sure did, hon. So did I. I know Cooking. you did. You busted your booty. You almost don't we have a booty We had a busy left. Sunday. Hope it's not too hot. Only you are, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> Suck you, baby. So, that is delicious, I have to say. I love your coleslaw. Thanks, son. Like that dressing? Mm -hmm. I nailed it. You got that right. The dogs oh. are doing good. Shut the front door. Isn't it good? Oh my god. <laughs> You've seen it guys. You can do it. You can make it. It's simple. Don't be afraid. And if you got a um, food processor, you don't need a ninja food processor. You can use any one. You make your pie dough like that or you even if you want, buy a frozen pie dough. But I suggest you make the gram wafer crust for the pie. It's much better. It's easy to make a gram wafer crust. Oh, so I hope you guys all had a good Sunday. Nathan learned something today, wiring. <sighs> learned how to wire a light up. All those little tips will help him when he when he has his own place. And how to replace breakers in the fuse box. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce cursed a bit, but he got it done. But this is an old house, but we don't, we, we have good updated electricity, right? There's one place that I need to get replaced. Where? Bedroom. Oh. Yeah, like I said, the dogs are doing really good. That The shots that he gave them really helped stop the diarrhea. We slept well last night, me and Coco. What? What? Oh, sorry. Every time. <laughs> every time I'm going to put food in my mouth. I'm talking about it. the damn diarrhea. As long as I don't <laughs> see it. Got diarrhea in the mouth. You talking about it? He is a good cat. I highly recommend him. I would come all the way from winter to for him. You got him going. Now you got him going. Because you had to say something. You yeah, had to say poop. Don't take much. Coco. Be back. What I wanted to say about our vet is he has an apprentice in there, eh? For years, a couple years now, that young guy's been in there learning the ropes. And 
I hope he's going to be as smart as our, our vet. Well, that's why you like to go in there all the time. The young guy working there, eh? And our vet saved, saved our golden retriever. We thought, we were, stop. We thought we were going to go be putting her to sleep. He said, oh, she just needs a emergency hysterectomy. <laughs> because we didn't have her spaded because we had two litters with her. Uh, a litter of 10. Uh, May 8th, it was a Mother's Day, they were born. Bruce delivered all of our babies. <laughs> Even Nathan. Oh. I cut the umbilical cord. We had one litter with 10, the next litter with 8. And, uh, and then, that's why we didn't have her spaded, because we, bre we were breeding her with another golden retriever. Yeah, so he saved our golden retriever, and she had a lot more years, uh, at least till she was she couldn't walk anymore. He loves eating this food. We had good dogs, always had good dogs. Our golden retriever was born in Amherstburg on Christmas Day and there was 12 puppies. They were called 12 Days of Christmas. <laughs> you remember that, huh? You remember the house where we picked her up? I remember me and my mom went to bingo and I won the jackpot. So we each got $500 and I said to Bruce, I'm buying a golden retriever. <laughs> he probably said, no, you're not. And I, I said, did, I said that to <laughs> Probably. I said that. I want to buy a pair of uh, ACDC thongs. What? <laughs> no, I didn't care. And then, it was uh, a big dog, not a little like him. <laughs> you leave my little dogs alone. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, he's 13. Throwing it I don't care what anybody says. Come on, you got to have some passion for him. Oh, he's know. well trained. Oh, you know oh yeah. He's oh, he's got dementia. Yeah, just You're like gonna... his mother. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. No. You throw a cookie and he's like, exactly. I, I, don't, I don't think his sense of smell's gone. Yeah. So you leave him alone, and you, you who thinks he should be trained, you leave him alone. He should be trained. No. I let the let the flaming hoop and he wouldn't even jump to be a circus dog. He is trained. I trained him when I got him. He sounds like he's trained. <laughs> you wait till you're eighty something and see how you are. Yeah. You'll be you'll be saying, Oh, I know I know what Coco is. No, I won't be saying I'd be saying, Change my poopy diaper! <laughs> I it's full! Stop. He's too much. Hi Okay, you guys. Meal planning. Oh, We're going to let our, our pie cool in the fridge for a bit. And then we'll share a piece of pie with you guys. Can I ask a question? Yes. My mama used to make lemon meringue pie. Yeah. You have to let it sit in the fridge to set a little bit. Yeah. So, we going to have a good time. <laughs> I didn't ever remember your mom making lemon meringue pie. You calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying. You calling me a liar? Mm -mm. You bad girl. She made lots of things. I don't remember. Yeah, she lemon used to make meringue. a killer lemon meringue pie. Oh, I wish I would have. Almost been. as good as yours. Sorry, <laughs> mother. Give me some menu ideas here. Okay. Uh, I know that in one day, um, we have to. Eat, we got that shrimp, um, and I got the coleslaw from today. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna have. Um, Shrimp. I have coconut shrimp in the freezer. You got those shrimp skewers too. Yeah, but those are more for the barbecue, for the fire. Uh, we we let Coco lick, Can you get lick the crust off. Here? That kept him busy for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and now Sandy's acting up. Sandy here. 
Can I have a cookie? Here you go, baby girl. Uh, yeah, so we'll have coconut shrimp with fries and coleslaw from today, right? Yeah. And then <clears throat> I have to get to Costco. I'm gonna have to book you off. Get we're, get your cat calendar. We have to make some book you off. Slow some days. the front door down. Well, I'd rather have you come to Costco with me. I don't want to go with you. You're nothing but a habitual you... created <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> I go there with it. Oh, can you get me a guy? Oh, can you hurry up? I gotta go to the washroom. Can you watch my purse? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Can you phone my phone? I don't know where my phone is. Oh, sorry. I had it on silent. It was in my Shut purse. Up. <laughs> okay, we're going to go make a meal plan together hey, without fighting. Can we'll I ask be back. You, I'm not fighting. Can I ask a question? Oh, is it what? You know that little thing I bought you for your keys so, you know, you can just have the app on your phone? Have you put it on your keys I yet? don't need it on my keys. I keep... With this car, you know, it's keyless, so I can keep my keys in my purse at all times. I don't even need to take them out to open the van as soon as I touch so the So I handle. bought that thing for nothing? No, I was thinking of using it on my remote, because <laughs> my remote's always missing. Hey, yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, put a zip tie on it. Okay, go ahead and test your pie. Wait, show them. Yeah. Show them your piece. Yeah, see it? You see, I ever see a piece of pie? Meringue breath, lemon meringue breath. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Been around here? Oh, very well. we forgot Coco in the kitchen. Can you go yeah. get him? You come in here later? <laughs> Love you. I forgot to go over the menu with you guys for this week. So tomorrow, you're getting oh, you're getting on my nerves. Man. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let me tell you what my menu plan. I did well. I only had one takeout. But yeah. that was understandable for all the crap going on here. <laughs> and let's see. This week's menu, I'm going to try not to go to Costco. Uh, coconut shrimp I have. It was fries for tomorrow with the coleslaw mm. that um, I made today. Mm -hmm. Mm. Then Tuesday we're going to do pork chops, squash, and have some potato skins left over in the freezer from New Year's Eve. Yum! Yum! Wednesday is homemade bread and tuna melts. Mmm! That sounds delicious. Thursday is salad with chicken fingers and garlic bread because I'll use the bread for tuna melts and I'll use the bread for garlic bread to go with our salad and bread sticks and chicken fingers. Friday is chili. <whistles> Saturday we're going to do a campfire barbecue either on the barbecue, the coals, or the campfire. Yeah, baby! It's going to be steak. And shrimp, shrimp kebabs that I have in the freezer. I have one steak left. We're getting low. We're going to have to go to Costco next. I told you that. You didn't like, even, you weren't ready. You'll be off for, um, you, I, I think I put you off. I'm not sure. You put me out? Off a day. Oh. And then Sunday is penny. I'm going to make, uh, like a penny pasta. Uh, so, um. Uh, casserole like with garlic bread mm. that is our menu for the week guys <laughs> somebody's happy with it he'll eat anything he'll eat a turd on a log <laughs> got that right he's Run not a hard to please at all little coco's got something to say coco you have to have counseling. <laughs> Coco. He's watching it. You You're by counseling. your hands by his food. There's a bowl next to him. And there's he, a bowl next to he me. He don't care. He's hungry. He may only be eleven pounds. That's how much he weighed at the vet. You don't know what to do. If you should jump at that one or jump at the get, other one. Get your food before daddy eats it off. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna eat it. 
<laughs> You're teasing him. He's oh. gonna be so upset. Ah, ah. Teasing the little poop machine. Ah. <laughs> Give him his food. He's hungry. He's starving. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too, little buddy. Here. <laughs> There you go, there. but he's Easy. telling you don't touch it again. It's his food. I'm gonna put my finger in your food. <laughs> yeah, uh, stop <laughs> it!